the tide pools here at Uquinnahed are a rough place full of danger and mystery. The hot sun shining down, the birds circling overhead, the slippery rocks ready to trip the unwary and unprepared. Only the toughest creatures can survive in this exciting ecosystem. Seals and sea stars, anemones and nudibranchs, all these animals and more can be seen in the pools. But the most elusive of all is Agent Octopus. Agent O is a giant Pacific octopus, a large cephalopod that has many versatile arms, which can be used for all sorts of tricks and techniques. Such flexibility, in more ways than one, allows Agent O to survive in such a treacherous ecosystem where anything can happen. Agent O has many unique skills at his disposal when navigating the pools, and he'll need every trick in his repertoire to find his target and to prevent anything from taking a bite out of him. Even though Agent O works alone, that doesn't mean he can't be found near other animals. Watching, waiting, hunting for his next target. And who is that target, you might ask? Well, as an octopus, Agent O can often be found hunting for species such as shrimp, crabs, lobsters, even fish. Once he has them in his arm's grasp, escape is all but impossible. And with eight arms to choose from, Agent O is a most formidable foe. But sometimes, even Agent O meets his match. After all, the ocean is a dangerous place. Agent O's most fearsome foes can be found in many places, from the shallows to deep in the ocean. They can be larger animals, such as harbor seals or sharks, or may even appear at a glance to be harmless. But even smaller animals, like sea otters or gulls, are not to be underestimated. Sometimes Agent O needs to beat a hasty retreat and will squeeze into tiny nooks and crannies to hide from his foes. If Agent O slips for even a moment, he might just lose it all. But Agent O has a few tricks up his sleeve for just these kinds of occasions. He can rapidly draw water into his mantle and expel it with great force out of his body. This propels him swiftly backwards to make a clean getaway. And of course, no secret agent worth their salt is found without their smokescreen. Agent O can freely create and eject a thick cloud of ink whenever he needs to disorient and flee his foes. But out of all of Agent O's skills, his most vital is his ability to change color. A secret agent must be able to disguise themselves whenever the situation calls for it and none are better or faster than an octopus. This ability is so highly developed that it is almost impossible to recognize a camouflaged octopus. Agent O's secret weapon, what helps him create such amazing disguises, are his chromatophores. These are millions of specialized cells under the skin which contain colored pigments. Despite being what we would call colorblind, octopuses like Agent O use their uniquely shaped eyes to understand the colors of their surroundings and mimic them with their skin, blending in almost perfectly. As good as any artist, Agent O only needs three colors to create fantastic shapes and patterns. Yellow, red, and brown. And Agent O is always fast on the draw. He can change color in one-tenth of a second. All of these abilities make Agent O difficult to locate in the tide pools. When navigating the pools, one must take care to avoid being too eager when searching for Agent O. Make sure to walk slowly and quietly, and do not move anything in the water. Such disturbances will only signal danger to Agent O, and he will quickly make himself scarce. Flexibility, cunning, camouflage. With all of these amazing skills at his disposal, is it any wonder that Agent O can survive, even thrive, in such an amazing and treacherous environment like the tide pools? So keep your eyes sharp when visiting, and always make sure to ask yourself, where in the pools is Agent Octopus?